Hi, I'm going to demo for you today some really quick and easy, low-tech ways that you can video some lessons for your students. Quick and easy because we're teachers, low-tech because some people this is the easiest way to get lessons to the kids on video quickly. So one of the things that I do as a science teacher is that I use my iPad as a document camera. So my document camera got really old and uh, the, the resolution was not very good. It's about 13, 14 years old. Didn't really work compatibly with the newer computers. And so I was looking into purchasing a new document camera and then I thought, well, my district provided an iPad so maybe I can use this as a document camera. So I do. So as a science teacher, I have a ring stand that um, I just use as my document camera. So I set my iPad on here, but I did have to buy for my iPad a, a more protective cover um, so that if it falls, it won't get damaged. But the protective cover actually makes it heavier. So then I just weighed it over here with a couple of books. Like I said, it's low tech, it's quick and easy. So if you don't have a ring stand, you can use uh, anything that makes it a little bit higher, um, maybe some books or something with a little shelf and that you can prop it to make your iPad a little bit higher than the document that you want to record. And then all I do is just use the um, record button for video on my iPad. If I'm gonna be doing this in class as a document camera, I use the photo setting and then I don't even click photo or whatever, it just shows my frame of reference. Over there is my screen with my LCD. And so I can write here and my students can see it right on the screen because um, my school has Air Server. So what's on my iPad goes to my computer, I drag it over here to the LCD, easy peasy. So I use my document camera also to record video for students who are absent or now also for flipped videos. And so anything that I want to hand draw, I'm going to use this for. So a math paper or sometimes a sketch or doodle notes, like these are energy diagrams and um, I wanna fill in the blank and I want my students to follow along on the video and I can click record for video, I can record what I'm doing and then I can upload it to whatever site I want it on. Google Drive, YouTube, etc. One of the things that I have to use is a little light. So this is um, a little light that my son wasn't using in his room anymore. And so I got this at Ikea for like $8. And what it does is it gives a little bit of light down here because of the shadow. So my iPad is casting a shadow onto the paper. And so this gives a little bit of light here to help um, with visibility. Okay, the next one that I'm gonna show you is how I record things in my book. So I use sticky note lectures. And the way that I do this is, well, there's a couple of different ways. I record flipped lectures of the sticky notes that are in my book. So I want my students to create sticky notes in the book. This, um, by using mine as a template, the reason I do this is because I can tell the kids what's important on each page to study, or if there's something their book doesn't cover but they need to know it for the AP test, then I can add it to that page. And so I record videos and I do it really low tech. So I come over here and I prop it against my computer like this and I get the right height. Usually I get the right height from a Kleenex box. It sounds kind of crazy, but if I pull out my, my keyboard and I prop it kind of up like this, or actually I think I do it like this, then I get the right distance for recording my sticky note lecture. So all I do, I actually don't have the right height, so I would get a taller box here and um, I'm going to point at things on the paper and hit the record button for video. And then I turn the page and I talk about each of the pages with my students. It doesn't hold up here very well. So what I sometimes do is 
I use this apparatus. Now this is something that a library uses to display a book at the library. I got it cheap online and so <clears throat> this will help me hold up my book if it's just not staying. So I can place my book in here like that and it holds the pages a little bit better so that when I film and record, and again, you have to, whatever station you're working at, you have to kind of fiddle around. Sometimes I use a bigger box so that you don't have to hold it the whole time. And then I'm going to discuss what's on the page. I'm gonna to point to things and I'm gonna record my sticky note lecture video that way. And then from my iPad, I just upload it to Google Drive. I can, from Google Drive, I can get it into YouTube. I can upload directly to YouTube. Um, and from there, I can go into Edpuzzle um, for students. So these, again, are some really low-tech things that you can use. You can also just use your phone instead. So let me show you. I'm actually filming on my phone. So I'm going to take a picture here. And I'm going to show you that the phone that's recording me right now, let me go to my pictures, is on a clip. So this is the clip that's recording you right now on my phone. So this clip can also be used um, if you wanna stand in front of your board. So you can buy this little arm clip on Amazon, very cheap, 10 bucks. You can clip it to one of your student desks and you can lecture on a whiteboard and it will record you that way. So recording on a phone, recording on an iPad, very low tech, very easy to do. And um, those are some of the quick and easy ways that I can make lecture video. Thanks for listening.